Yeah, um, this is my converted um, alternator. So it works as an electric motor, brushless um, DC motor. Uh, what I've done is I've um, loosened all the screws, took it apart, um, took away all the diodes, everything, and uh, just soldered um, cables onto the windings directly, the three cables that comes out. Um, and then I also... Um, The, um, the brushes uh, on this uh, rotor, the carbon brushes is, and uh, I soldered two cables on them so I can connect um, uh, power to the uh, rotor so it uh, magnifies and yeah, electrifies and gets magnetic. And uh, all I'm using now is a small um, brushless controller from an RC car and uh, a small potentiometer, potentiometer or whatever you call it um, yeah so I just electrify the uh, rotor power to the It's not that start powerful to start, but once you get it rolling, it's quite powerful. And you can also get variable power to uh, the rotor, and it's easier to start and everything. So, but uh, it's quite powerful. So. Experimenting a little bit with the voltage to the rotor and everything, so you can it's quite powerful you when you You can't stop it with your own hand, so it's quite powerful, also. And um, with a better controller, this should be able to deliver about 1400 watts, which is uh, quite good actually. So, for this, barely costs anything. This I got for free. It's a 100 amp generator alternator. Uh, this one cost about $20. The more expensive ones cost so maybe yeah, 40 50 dollars which can deliver basically all that this one can. So um, yeah, it's quite easy. So all you have to do is three cables out from the windings to the brushless controller, see which one you can switch those cables around, see which one works the best. And uh, yeah, power to the router and uh, then it works.
I'm gonna try to hook this up to my mini bike, mount a sprocket on here and directly to the back wheel and see if it's powerful enough to get me rolling. I weigh about 205 pounds, so it's gonna be interesting. <laughs>